Hello friends, family and other creatures of the scene. Welcome to a professional best of five of StarCraft 2. Today in the bottom right, the man, the myth, the legend, playing for Mouse for a very long time is of course Hero Marine, also known as Big Gabe. And in the top left, he is basically Hero Marine, but he's not a Marine, he's just Hero. And there we go. Protoss versus Terran here on Golden Aura. Now, this is a uh, best of five played in DreamHack Atlanta. And one of the cool things about Atlanta, or about one of the cool things for me as a content creator, is that um, for whatever reason in Atlanta, 90% of all matches weren't casted. <laughs> I don't quite know why this was the case. I played a round of 20 match, which had no casters in it, while at the same time there were, I think, nine casters in the, the same game that the mainstream had. Uh, it was fairly poorly organized when it comes to the, the stream split, but it also means that a lot of people, including myself, haven't seen any of those games from either the, the knockout brackets, um, some games from uh, the, the, the group stages. Like a lot of these games weren't cast or no one saw them because they were only casted on like a, a, a stream that was being streamed in, in Icelandic or something like that. No offense to the Icelandic viewers that have seen it already, of course, but yeah, it's uh, a little bit surprising that it was so difficult to, to view your favorite matches, but at the same time, we now have a lot of replays which are truly fresh, which uh, I haven't quite seen yet most of the time. Well, actually, all of the time, because I really wasn't capable of catching all that much. All I could see was the freaking mainstream matches and then the matches I played myself. That's all I'm really aware of. So that's going to be cool here, as we're starting with Hero versus Hero Marine on Golden Aura, a map that is often considered Proto's favorite, and does I expect this to be Hero's first pick? Let's see what's going to be kicking off over here. Mr. CC finishes up in time. Is it? Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Hellion pops out. Second Hellion on the way instantly. It's going to be a three Hellion drop most likely. As this car is taking quite a bit of damage already. That's uh, two hits there on the Hellion instantly. Second Adept is about to show up. And here we go. Round two. Fight. And besides the target on all these marines down, not quite working out as the Hellion will get pushed back. Hellion needs to piss off, please don't. Oh, okay. Also gonna get a cancel here, so okay is straight. I mean, minus one marine. Quite some uh, SEV mining time is being wasted on repairing this Hellion and some minerals as well, of course. So, really uh, double dipping there into the opponent's mineral deposit. As, um, yeah, it's going to be a three car drop. This is an okay build. It's one of these builds that, in my mind, should never work, but then sometimes does end up working. And it might be with a seven Hellion or seven Marine drop as well. But for now, this Oracle needs to be defended first, and it's gonna deal actually quite a bit of damage here. Marines are gonna get picked up and will be forced into chasing this Oracle. Oracle will move in towards the natural, most likely, force these uh, units away. This is very pricey because that is a mule, as you can see, and that mule will not be mining as many minerals as he would like to probably missed an entire cycle there. At the same time, though, these cars are now moving in position as a uh, hero. Call us up with Phoenixes. Okay. Oracle into Phoenixes. Robotics facility extremely late, so it's going to be Phoenix Colossus. Not a huge fan of this personally. Actually, not a fan of this whatsoever, but whatever. It is what it is. Interference Matrix already being researched as the first Raven is on the way out. I think there's going to be a double Raven setup. It's gonna get scouted as well by this uh, Oracle revelation. I'm not really liking the position that Hero Marine is in, to be quite honest. He's lost significantly more units. Three SCVs, three Hellions and one Marine versus two probes. Um, aggressively, I actually believe that Hero has the ability to do something else. He really poor, loses the Oracle for free. Well, not for free as he kills the, the, the Raven, but also ends up losing a Phoenix. Kind of sloppy. Robo Forge Twilight, getting a little bit of everything and thus nothing very powerful we'll be skipping the colossus deck i guess doesn't have an oracle anymore of course late third base i'm almost expecting this to be blink but it can't be yeah it has to be charged but this is a very confusing type of setup because he's getting four gas but he's also playing charge lots adding the gateways right now yeah, I'm really quite confused here. There's another Phoenix is uh, close to dying. It didn't, but it was close to it. 47 workers to 41. It's a hero marine here. Uh, had a little bit of a supply block. Finishes that depot, though. Okay, so that's what the gas... It's going to be... Storm. 
Um, yeah, I hate this. No, yeah, I really do. I think this is terrible. So, this is one of these builds that is super reliant on the first flying with the prism. Extremely reliant. And I'm not even sure if Hero Marine is going to weigh that out. I think the first Templar will need to be used defensively. Maybe even in Archon form. Because there really isn't that much time left. Let's, let's face it. These Cyclones are trying to take these bad boys out. Like, this Templar Archives finishes up. Can you really start Storm right now while your opponent is already moving up? I don't think so. This is hitting like a freaking brick right now. A bag of rocks moving across the map. He's just going to be using that Templar, I guess, for a feedback. Okay, Storm does start. He has no units. If Hero Marine were to go for a straight-up attack here, I think he would have actually just won the game. There is nothing defensively. Look at this. There's no army. There's no Storm. Uh, Hero Marine instead tried to go for a split off, and that's actually going to cost him quite a bit. Zealot run by moving in, tries to snipe the stim, like a second and a half, a second and a half away from sniping that stim. The stim will finish. Here comes Hero Marine now. There's legitimately nothing defensively. He's gonna hit with the one-one. He he can see that storm is still being researched, so he knows that it isn't done yet. I mean, this just looks absolutely terrible here for for a hero. Hero Marine not quite killing workers yet. Now he's starting to move in towards the probe line. At the same time, the Cyclone's trying to kite back as well. We'll clear a couple zealots as probes are indeed going down. 66 supply against 100 as 15 probes bite the dust. And it's a surprising build here coming out of Hero with those Oracle losses. Not making it easier, of course. But even if you had that Oracle plus Phoenix alive, I still think this would have just massively sucked. And playing Stargate into Storm is... It's one of these things that you can't really afford most of the time, at least what I'm aware of. 80 workers have gone down, as Hero Marine here in the dying seconds of this push is going to throw everything away. Um, still 51 workers to 31. I, that is that is a very big deal. Usually the pros players want wants to be up in workers rather than being down, especially if there are three CCs out. Now there is no bunker here on the low ground, and that could actually bite Hero Marine in the bum. Doesn't have any mines in position either, as we now see this prism attack is occurring. Eight marines are going to be moving in towards the main base. There's a double stalker warpin, plus two zealot is trying to take care of this. Tim gets utilized, these stalkers are going to get sniped, and I do believe that Hero is going to be in trouble at home, but I also believe that Hero Marine is going to be in a little bit of trouble at home over here. Orbital Command under direct attack. Mines need to move in position as this command center is dead hero right clicks it and takes it out instantly sloppy play there by hero marine at the same time though eight marines in the in the third base raven hitting the natural as well so lots of probes are being killed hero still probably feels forced to attack into this picks up the the archon as uh, three mines uh, try to shoot and only two end up hitting the archon count is just so low though the micro is okay-ish, but I don't think it's good enough. Immortals going down at a very high pace. As Hero Marine here in an absolutely massive lead right now. Mine still being pumped out. Gonna get another big shot. There we go. We'll splash on top of all of these zealots. 48 supply to 90. And uh, yeah, this is this is just not looking very good right now for Hero. As Hero Marine is gonna send it. Across the map. Has killed his opponent's third base. Both players losing their third. But Hero just at a lower worker count here. Better tech, I guess, technically, but... I mean, one one storm is not going to cut it, right? You have a four mind drop now heading out. as an armory starts as well. I mean, that's going to be a big banger. That is actually going to be a banger. Then you get about three, four kills. And then another shot, another three, four kills. That should absolutely be enough to take this game. Take it home. Country road. Take it home. Is there actually blink? No, there's no blink yet. I was wondering why these guys didn't blink. It's because they don't quite have the ability. Oh yeah, plus one as well. Here comes the four mine drop. One mine's being moved over towards the ramp. As uh, are we not quite done? It's actually a little bit sloppy in my mind. But oh well, it is what it is. A couple of workers will fall. Mine moves in towards the natural too. Yes, yeah, so all of these mines. I mean, there were observers anyway, so it's not really the end of the world. We're going to get a pick up here, Hero Marine, with some quick moves. It's going to send his entire army across the map as well at the same time. Third CC start. No Ghost Academy as Marines are being produced without add-ons here on the barracks 4 and 5. 
There are three Templar out on the map. But there's just a massive army here for Hero Marine. Hero Marine's going to cancel the third base before it even goes up. He's preemptively cancelling it, saying, no, you're not going to get this, mate. Not today. Scans him forward. Are we going to get a recall or a base trade? And it seems to me like it's a base trade scenario here. But a couple of units at home with those mines should perhaps be capable of at least holding the natural ramp. This base is actually fairly low. Just need to lift it. That is a little bit sloppy. Are there any Templar in the main base? No, no there's some Templar in this prison. Could perhaps do something. Templar moving towards the ramp. Hero Marine not paying attention at all. It's going to get uh, blanketed in those storms. At the same time, okay, Prism has moved across the map. SEVs managed to evacuate, though. And I do believe that Hero Marine here just has too much defensively as well. There's no observer with this army, which means that these mines are going to be extremely useful to have around. Uh, once they have their next missile available. SCV is being pulled off the line as well as the Marauders uh, well, stay out of range of basically everything here. Mine's now burrowing into this army and I think that is just going to be a Hero Marine has 90 supply, Hero only has 19. Those are not good numbers for the Protoss player. And indeed GG gets called. So our German Terran takes map number one. Game two sees... what is this? He's a pilot at the ramp. What the hell is this? This is the worst of both worlds. So usually you want the best of both worlds. This is the worst. It doesn't wall the Reaper. It also isn't that quick of a Zealot. It's just an uncomfortable position all around. It's gonna be proxy gate, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Okay. Um, oh, wow. Hero Marine just straight up with a build order advantage. I was going to say build order win, but I've seen Terrans lose it, so <laughs> I'm going to hold off on that. Theoretically, though, this is a build order win, all right, for the Terran. Because they, they can just cancel their low ground CC the moment they have it. They have insanely fast stack. They, they really just should be in a much better spot. Hero is not even gonna scout. What? That is actually wild. Because then you can decide whether you want this zealot or not, no? Because against a full wall, you probably don't want a freaking zealot, mate. You don't want a freaking zealot. Um, this is this is really terrible. I can't stress enough how terrible this really is for Hero. He's adding in a second gateway, right? Or a second gate, a second gas right now. This, this really does feel kind of terrible. It really does. It's going to be Stalker plus Stalker. Okay. This is a rare setup. No Warp Gate yet either. Hey, there's just going to be units here. Like it, it, Two Reapers will be out. Deal with it. CC needs to be cancelled instantly. The moment the Stalker shows up, that CC needs to go. It needs to go. Here, I mean, at least from what I'm aware, from, from what my knowledge tells me that this needs to go. I, I feel like leaving it down here, pretending like you can hold it, is just stupid. Because you can't hold it. Depot should be the next structure on the way here, by the way. Very important. Very important, because right now we're moving into a supply block already. Okay, Hero Marine doesn't share the sentiment when it comes to the Depot. Instead, here being supply block, probably needs to drop a, a super depot at this point. Still not building a depot, now finally cancels the CC. This has been a very mediocre response, to be quite honest. This has been very mediocre here, coming out of Hero Marine. First Cyclone is on the way out. Starfork starting as well. And this still should absolutely be a win for Hero Marine. I mean, he has... A similar work count as his opponent. He has that fast stack. His opponent has no tech whatsoever. But that probably is going to finish up. Okay, now it will be cancelled. Yep. Good play there by Hero. We have double sentries on the way, which, once again, I've never seen this particular execution of this build either. This is this is really quite wild. This sentry is toast. And these units might be toast as well if Hero isn't careful. Overall, resources lost in favor of Hero Marine. CC timing in favor of Hero Marine, tech timing in favor of Hero Marine. 
Despite the relatively poor response and the, well, uh, what was it, like the 40 second supply block, I still believe that he's in a much superior spot here. Double gas is such a, I don't, don't want to call it a free win, but it really feels like a bit of a free win. Now though, three stalkers show up, two adepts as well here, knock knock knocking on uh, Hero Marine's door. Uh, Hero Marine not quite ready for that, two stalkers get warped in defensively as well. Hero perhaps managing to breach it. That would be kind of sick. Killed three SEVs already. This is a lot of damage that is being dealt right now. Cloak coming up behind this. The tank sieges up here on the ramp, but the Adept Shade is helping out enough. That is such a cute little play here. As, um, oh my god, the Adept finishes up. It's gonna get uh, three Marines for his troubles. Probably should be warping another Adept. Problem though being is that there's also Cloak Banshee on the way, and there's currently no detection. That is what we call a pretty major freaking problem here. Is there a sentry still somewhere? I saw two sentries being produced earlier. It's not the case now though. There's not even an adept on the map to scout the potential starport with the tech lab. Oh, 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 oh. Robotics facility on the way. Tank being uh, set up as well. Here comes the the Banshee. Does have time? This is just game, man. This is just straight up game. He's gonna recall right now. Then this bad boy will just cloak up. Yeah. And there is a battery in the main base. That is nice. Uh, Hero Marine should be targeting that down right now. It's right clicking the battery. Yep. It's of course what he goes for. This Hero Marine has a brain of a machine. It's gonna get that down. Uh, still a lot of energy on the cloak Banshee. 35 to be exact. That means he's going to be capable of getting six, seven, eight workers if you just target everything down. Observer now on the way. No chrono boost available for it. I mean, this really should just be game over. If, if Hero Marine manages... Oh my god, he's even going to keep this thing alive. That's so cool. He says, hey, I could get four more worker kills or I could keep it alive and send it in back later. Uh, Banshee now showing up in the natural here. Hero uh, in an absolutely terrible spot here. Absolutely terrible spot. Blink not quite done yet. He has a lot of stalkers available though, so that's going to be nice for him. So here goes Hero Marine, stuck in between a rock and a hard place. And so two benches versus two stalkers actually should be fine. Yeah, it's gonna win that, uh, that little fight. Tries to add in another pilot and he's in about to be supply blocked. The three tanks now siege up aggressively. And I, I do believe that Hero Marine here is, uh, is about to get the 2 0 on the first two maps. Worth Hardhat being a very Terran favorite map, but doesn't make it any less impressive. Hero, probably one of the best Korean Protoss players. Perhaps only Classic currently better in this particular matchup. Just getting absolutely annihilated here by Hero Marine. Two benches once again showing up. Boom, boom, boom. 12, 13, 14 workers falling. And this is game. This is absolutely game. This is such a huge surprise. Uh, and it isn't even looking close. Neither of these games are really close. Just Hero Marine just kind of walks in there and takes a W. As Hero with uh, a very aggressive build here in game number two, completely failing with it. And in game number one, honestly also just kind of failing in the build order phase. 2-0 in favor of the German Terran. That brings Hero Marine to a potential match point situation here. Which is not something that a lot of people would have expected, I think. It's so hard to say what, what to expect in StarCraft, because my feeling tells me that Hero is the better player. But I also believe that the last few times these guys played, I want to say that Hero Marine just won. Hero Marine also is insanely strong against Korean tosses. I recall when Zaun was at his peak, Hero Marine would just destroy him. It's like he'd eat him alive. A lot of Korean tosses, they tend to play quite aggressive and like pretty all in -y in the early stage, like the first six minutes. Well, a lot of Europeans play very macro focused and it really feels like Hero Marine matches up so well against these aggressive builds out of Protoss. He just knows exactly how to respond to them. That, that is my feeling. I think one of the reasons is because Hero Marine ladders so much. Almost all of his practice comes from ladder and on the European ladder there is a, an insane amount of TOS players. An insane amount of TOS players who are all willing 
to throw their best build at Hero Marine. You know, are playing a freaking 5-8 Toss. That guy's gonna be throwing some garbage at you. He's not gonna be playing a macro game. And Hero Marine, he, he knows how to beat these builds. He absolutely does. They're opening up the same way, by the way. Reactor first, into a factory. Except he's forgetting the factory. It's, <laughs> it's 40 gas late there on the factory. Not a good look. But, uh, we can forgive him, of course. We can forgive Gabe. We love Gabe. In my house, we all love Gabe. Core into Nexus here. Very standard opener. Yes, uh, this depot is taking some serious damage. I think you'll be getting a bit nervous now if you're the Terran here. It's like, why is this idiot still attacking my depot? Like, what if a Zealot shows up now, you know? Starts hitting that depot too. It's like, your depot's already kind of kind of low. It's not a very high HP depot anymore there, Chief. So what Hero is doing right here is he's trying to figure out if the first two units are Marines or if they are Reapers. And if they were Marines, they would have popped out at 2 minutes and 23 seconds, or 2 minutes and 22 seconds. I'm not quite sure what the exact timing is. Somewhere between 2.22 and 2.24. But because you didn't see them, uh, instead these Reapers are going to be popping out, of course, at, uh, at 2.36 or so. Reapers being used to kind of scout around. Making sure there's no proxy gate this time around as well. Twilight Council on the way here for Hero, who has a, an Adept out, who has a second Adept out as well, and a third Adept on the way. That's a third gateway, three units! Three blink. Um, not super common. Not super common at all. He's got a chrono boost before he started the blink upgrade. That's also not very common. Shaded through this. Real curious how this is going to pan out. As there's two more Reapers here on the way. He's going to bring the total amount of Reapers up to four, as well as two cars. Second car not quite being used yet, though. Should not finish this. Finishes it. Wow, that sounds crazy, no? This is an insane trade for Hero. I can't believe how well this went. This micro is mental. I know this looked just like some easy adept micro, but this, this doesn't make any sense. Four Reapers and two Hellions should be capable of taking out three adepts every day of the week. Every day of the week. But they weren't. Actually, only a single adept ended up going down. We have a stalker out already going to start trying to target down this reaper another warping comes in these adepts made their way across the map now trying to shade into the main uh, will be capable of doing just that as yep there goes the marine there goes the next marine as well and this is chaos this is not a good look here for gabe who's getting uh, absolutely blasted here by hero could be thinking of maybe taking out that mule yeah hits it once hits it once hits it dies all right Two SVs went down, Robo into, or sorry, Blink into Robo. Four gases. It's like some heavy, heavy uh, Robo Bay vibes here just coming at me. You sniff it, you smell it, you look at it. It's like, ah, that's a Robo Bay. That is a cheeky little. Ooh, wait a prison. Oh. Then Templar Archives. All right, then it's a Templar Archives. Oh. That's a late, late prism, huh? I wonder what he's planning on achieving with that. I wonder what he thinks he's going to achieve with that. I think he's going to achieve... No, well, actually, there's no tank out. Maybe something? Maybe he can do something. Why the four gas, though? Okay, yeah, it's going to be the TA, the Templar Archive. So it's going to be Storm. Yeah, actually... This is it's not hitting hard, but it is hitting. And there really isn't that many defensive units in position right now for for Hero Marine, let's face it. Uh, Stalkers defensively should be capable of helping out. Uh, auto turrets will clear one, two workers. This Raven has two worker kills. Gonna get a... Th ah, didn't target fire. Could have gotten three. Busy defending at home. Did this tank die? That is kind of what it looks like. I'm sorry for missing that, but nine SCVs have gone down already. Yes, uh, Hero Marine in the world of trouble just... Really just in a world of trouble. He's gonna lose his depot as well. Third barracks has finished up. New tank on the way out. eBay finally starts to... A little bit of supply block here for El Gabriel. 62 out of... Well, a little bit of supply block. Holy cow. This is a supply block of a lifetime. It's gonna be stuck on 30 for works for quite a while. Yeah. Double depots now coming down. Ah, this was like... 30, 35 seconds, triple depots, forced into a supply drop as well. This was very expensive. This really ruined his worker count, to be honest. Not a good look here for Gabe. 
trying to harass a bit more, but there's batteries everywhere. Because the only thing he can do is put a turret here and then attack the, the bottom side probes. It's the only thing he can do. Storm on the way. Five more gates as well as the third base is about to finish up. And I'm really starting to feel this game for a hero. I, I really am. Right now it looks kind of close, but all this infrastructure is already going down. Like five gateways extra is a very big deal. And the fact that it's still even supply pretty much tells the tale here, I think. Oh, we have storms in the natural. That is eight, nine workers. I mean, at this point, Hero Marine really has no options left. Like, he needs to move across the map and try and kill his opponent. He forgot combat shield? What? Ah, this is the worst game that Gabe has played in his entire life. Huge supply block. And now no combat shield? Like, this is... This is not good. Hero forcing out some serious mistakes out of his opponent as his prism gets to stay alive. I mean, you can't fight Storm with pure marine. And you definitely can't fight Storm with pure marine without combat. Ah, this is insane. This is, this is not viable. It's almost ridiculous to move out, although it's the only option he has. But it is insane to move out as well. It makes no sense. He's just forgetting about combat. How can you forget about combat shields? You see, you don't have it. I don't get it. Maybe he's waiting for it to finish. I sometimes have to do it upgrades. Roaming around with 6 Templar, full energy. Surely right now Storm will finish. And you know as well, there's like, man, it's too long ago that I started Storm. But I know I started it. And then you didn't, then you lose the game. Because you're trying to Storm Baneling. But you didn't freeze the power. Okay, okay. Die. Holy crap. Absolutely gets, uh, gets annihilated here. By Hero. Zero takes his first game here. GG gets called. We are going to game number 4. And in that game number four, we see the fastest scout possible coming out of Hero. I've talked about this build quite a bit in the past, and I'm impressed by its results when there's no proxy. I am sorely unimpressed by its results when there is a proxy. I think this build unironically is the weakest build against proxy Rex out of all the builds Stoss has, or the, the scout timing is the worst. Because you have very little cash, and you can't really harass your opponent. Barracks is going to be produced near the CC here. Yes, a uh, hero is looking for some more damage. Double gas opener, look at that, huh? Couple of SVs being pulled off the line. Hero are really struggling with this harass uh, mightily. The other day I was playing against someone, I can't even recall who. And he killed one of my workers with an SUV. With his scouting SUV. Oh, that was god awful. By Hero Marine. That cost him quite a bit of money as well. Five workers that aren't busy mining, especially from close patches. Uh, that little move probably was worth like 10, 15 minerals. Which is really, really big in the early game. Especially if you're already playing a low eco build, like he is doing right now. This probe definitely was worth its weighting, weighting gold. What's the timing here on this thing? Oh, it's very late. 130 the core went down. Jeez, that is six seconds later than usual. I don't think that is the standard with this move. I just think that Hero wasn't really paying attention probably at home. Reaper's about to pop. Has Hero Marine, by the way, played double gas every single game so far? I think the answer is yes. I can't quite recall what happened in game number one. Some golden aura. I can't recall it. I don't think that... No, that was Marine into Factory. Yeah, that wasn't Double Gas. So three games of Double Gas, one game of Marine into Factory. The only thing we really learned from that is that Hero Marine loves to be aggressive. Because both of these uh, openers are extremely uh, ag aggression-focused. Took out a probe there already. Stargate on the way. Two minutes and 40 seconds in. Gets built on the low ground. Hero is going to scout it. Look at this. And he's absolutely juking Hero here. Whoop. Whoop. Should be a death probe. It's not going to be a death probe. Second adept is here already. Needs one more hit though on that uh, on that bad boy. Look at look at look at him go, man! Look at him go! He's gonna get the probe and he gets to escape. This shade will finish on the Reaper, but I believe that there will be a little bit of regeneration before. Even if there isn't. It's what, 22 damage I think you deal with an Adept to a Reaper? 
and he had 24 health already. Cyclone now moving across the map. Hero Marine on freaking fire here in this game so far. Two kills with a Reaper, despite a Reaper wall and Adept being in position at all times. Like, that is... That is a pathetic start here for Hero. It really is. No other words for it as uh, Hero Marine's gonna try and jump in. It's like, wait, that doesn't work. Ah, oh, right, you don't have a Stargate there. That's in the natural, so... It's gonna feel... Uh, like he's been faked out a little bit, I guess. I like the natural Stargate, by the way. Oh my god, supply block. Eh, yikes. Why do I like it in the natural? Because it's hard to scale what the first unit is going to be. And on top of that, very often it's hard as well just for the Reaper to get in there and figure out altogether what it is. So, yeah, that's, I, I kind of like that. If you're Reaper balling, why not get your attack in the map? Get that over here, so you have this pylon backing it up. You always get this pylon anyway over here in this location. I don't know why we do that. I do the same thing. I always get a pile on there. It just feels right. Is that Medivac just idling in the dead space? What's he looking for? He's looking for an Oracle, I think. That's not what's happening here, though. We have a ooh, double Cyclone, eight Marine push out. There's a mine with all of this as well. He's gonna pick up that final Cyclone, I guess. Yeah, that's the plan here. Look at him go. It's gonna be triple Cyclone. What do you have defensively here, Hero? So far you have two oracles that are hidden, three oracles that are hidden. Could use it for a counter attack, but probably needs to use it defensively here. This is insane. This is actually insane. If Hero Marine just targets down, oh my god, he's gonna get one of that for free. If he just targets down the battery, the game ends. Can he target down the battery though? I think the answer is no. Oracle's now moving across the map. There are a lot of gateway units. Super battery still could be activated. Another battery on the way. Do we still have energy? Yeah, we, well, we now have energy for the super battery. It's going to need to utilize it at some point in the near future. Oracles move in. Do we have a, okay, we have a Phoenix on the way? Not a Void Ray. It's going to say, he's got a Void. Okay, now he needs to go. Now he needs to go. Send it. Send it! Super battery gets activated. Wasn't far enough in front. So it does get targeted down. Mine is going to reburrow. Retarget. Two Stalkers will fall. Probe's going down at a high pace. At the same time, a well... Also, things here are going down to the Oracles. I almost feel like the correct play here for Hero is to just try and kill this army. Is that not the case, maybe? As more and more uh, SCVs are being taken out, auto turrets get used. Very nice play there by Hero Marine. He's going to lose a couple more workers, though. We'll go down to, what, 30? Does he have Stim research on the way? No, not quite. Doesn't have the money either for it. As triple Oracles, that is a... That is still a serious thing, you know? That's, it ain't no joke. Not a tank out here yet. Three Cyclones on the map. 27 to 30 workers. Uh-oh, here we go. These Marines in some serious trouble. Double Phoenix should not use their lifts on these bad boys. Hey, without a bunker, I almost feel that Hero's just going to win. Hero is uh, attacking into an Immortal as well behind all of this. Where come the Oracles? Do we have energy? No, well, we have energy on two of them. But yeah, this was a bad fight. Good lord. That was terrible. Immortal now moving across the map as a tank is about to pop off as well. 33 to 36 workers. Prism on the way behind all of this. Hero in a bad spot. Needs to deal damage. Needs to deal it quickly. Saving his uh, Oracle energy. He sees the Cyclones in the main base. Technically though, triple Cyclone plus two Phoenixes towards the main should be good enough to deal with all of this, no? Definitely should be the case. Yeah, it's gonna clear one Cyclone. It's gonna clear a second Cyclone. Loses one. Uh, one Oracle for it. There's a turret in the natural. Ooh, almost got that tank. Loses another Oracle. Hero Marine gets the defense that he wants. Prism finishes up. Tank is alive. And Hero Marine's in a better position. No third base here for Hero. No tech units yet for Hero. Not a very high Stargate unit count for Hero. Hero has nothing. He's on the ropes. And it's not looking good for him. He's getting beaten right now by Hero Marine. <sighs> Tried to go for a snipe on that combat shield. Doesn't quite get it. It would have been nice. And the world. Just nice. Really just nice. Stim would be a big snipe as well. But I don't think he's going to be capable of getting that either. There's a turret here. Needs to be careful. He doesn't quite fly into that. I almost feel like Hero Marine could probably just get a, uh, a Viking here. It would be real powerful. 
actually start sending out individual drops here for phoenixes moving out are oh, going to catch this medevac that is a big kickoff here to start things off that is that is not just that is not just nice that is a necessity here this is absolutely necessary it's all five racks before triple cc hero marine coming in uh, clean with an all-in it's not so great against colossus usually though it needs to be very careful it's gonna add in two more tech labs it's gonna bring the total amount of tech labs up to four on barracks lots of marauder production not as many marines big scan sees the, the third base being quite late we have a little bit of an attack over here oh picks up all of these uh, marines has to go into this that's definitely not viable at a distance maybe you can stand and fight into these uh, yeah into those marines most def most definitely Second Colossus coming out as well. Thermal Lens about to finish up. If I can get sniped there by the Phoenixes. Hero Marine really just setting up for a big two base all in here. Almost feel like he's kind of giving up an opportunity to to play a very favored macro game because that he, he was extremely favored here, uh, going into a macro game. I'm not sure if that's still the case. Hero really putting on a lot of pressure as well. Doesn't have any tech yet. No forge. No twilight. That's not true. He has both of them. He just hadn't researched anything yet. My bad. Absolutely key here for Hero Marine is to try and get around this army, to force it back. Because siege tanks don't fight well in the middle of the map, right? That's a fact. That is a that is an actual fact. They fight well when they're sieged up, but right now they're not sieged up. So you're just going to be taking a bit of damage here from the Colossus guiding. Don't have enough Vikings to push this back, because Phoenix production stays high. Two more gates on the way. Charge! Plus one, not going to finish up, let's face it. It's just not happening. Oh, Oracle... Cool. 19 HP remaining. 19 HP remaining. You have reinforcements moving across the map. Could potentially try and pick those off with the with the Phoenixes, but it's going to be real difficult. Yeah. Tanks now moving forward slowly, but surely as turrets are being added into the mix as well. Good call. Gonna make these tanks much, much harder to take out. Perhaps a little bit too aggressive here coming out of uh, Hero Marine even. I feel like it can take a sweet little time. Two more Vikings show up, or one more Viking shows up, bringing a total up to five. Eight Phoenixes versus five Vikings. Could be a good fight technically for the Phoenix. First Viking goes down instantly. There's a cloak, I think, here in this uh, prison. The Nexus goes down. Hero, though, is playing it safe, playing it solid. Says, hey, what I want to do here is I want to clear your army completely and then go for a counterattack. And then go for a counterattack. That's a plan. Okay, here we go. Moving in right now, takes out a bunch of phoenixes, a couple of lifts here. That's going to cost him uh, every single one of these phoenixes. Hero Marine targets them down. Tanks will remain. This was not a good trade here. The one thing that Hero had going for him is that he had a lot of phoenixes. Losing all of those, I mean, it might have been necessary, but it wasn't real nice at all for him. Almost would have preferred a counterattack at this point after he cleared all the Vikings with the phoenixes. See if he can pick up some units. Maybe do something from there on out. No, yep. Yeah. You just can't catch the drop anymore because you don't have any units that can deal with it. That is a serious problem. Hero Marine still on two bases, though. Can, of course, fly his command center to the next base if he uh, if he ever pleases to do so. 160 mirrors. I mean, this base is almost empty. Hero still going to be just on two bases. Started a Ghost Academy there, Hero Marine. I saw it and then instantly cancelled it. Decided that he doesn't have the gas for it, which is correct. He doesn't doesn't have the gas for it. Single Phoenix out. Oh, wait, three Phoenixes out already. It's not a single Phoenix at all. Two Vikings versus three Phoenixes. Nexus is being rebuilt. Yeah, he, Hero is trying his best, but it's going to be so difficult to get back into this game. He has upgrades. He's going to have better upgrades. Wait, anyway, was Interference Matrix Research? I can't even recall there being a Raven. I guess there was at some point. Ah, oh, right, defensively, he used the Auditor at some point, I recall it now. Yeah, I do recall that. Hallucinated Phoenix moving over uh, the 
figure out where the army is. See if there's a third base, which there isn't. This base is going to need to lift very soon as uh, these patches are now completely running dry. Templar Archives about to finish up. I wonder if he wants to get Storm. I actually think Storm here would be kind of good. Much better than Archons at least. I don't think one or two Archons are going to achieve that much. But I think one or two Stormers, yeah, they might. They really might. SFE's being pulled as well here. All the SFE's from the main base here. In the army composition. Hero Marine wants to move in between the natural and the third. As he wants to win it. What is this move? Okay, he loses 9 SCVs for free. He's gonna send the rest of his SCVs in forward as well, which is an interesting call. Uh, ah, this is... This is probably the worst possible fight that Hero Marine could have taken. It might still be enough, but that was really freaking bad. Losing 22 workers there... It also means that floating the third doesn't make a whole lot of sense anymore. It's now going to go in, uh, towards the, fo the forward angle. Do we have a super battery available? Yeah, we do. Yes, of course we do. Uh, and these phoenixes are winning the air battle right now. Hero with an absolutely insane potential comeback is getting kind of owned here by the Marauder Count as he's not focusing these Marines in the back either. And it seems like that despite Hero's Marines terrible fight, like absolutely terrible fight, uh, he is kind of pushing through right now. Taking out a lot of workers. Colossus is still alive, but for how much longer is the question? Well, for about two more seconds after that sentence ended. A 44 supply. Defense. What an insane game this is. What an insane game. This makes no sense. Hero Marine. With four Marines here on the other side of the map. Lands the Vikings. There's a crap ton of Metavex. There's just not enough here for Hero, who has 31 workers. Zealot at the same time cleared so much on the other side as well. This was so close. This was so close. Oh my god. We're legit like four Zealots away from winning this game. Where did I recall? Oh, to the third. That's actually a really cool move because they have some time to mine right now. Archon is going to more result. Look at how low these units are. Hero Marine, not quite sure what to attack. He's going to pick up and, and unload. There's going to be an Archon. If he can clear this medevac, that would be huge. Oh, barely doesn't get it. Barely doesn't get it. Super Battery activates, though. Oh, we need to start fighting, buddy. We need to start fighting. We need to hit stuff. As uh, Zealots came back home. Oh, my God. This Archon is stuck behind the freaking Zealots. But these Marines and Marauders are very low. There's seven probes remaining right now. Versus two. There's going to be, what, two two mules. Ah, that is huge. These mules are huge. There's a tank in the back as well. You can technically kite forever. And every worker that dies here is, is just awful. It, 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 it's truly terrible. Arkham moves a little bit forward. Stalker in some serious trouble. This game is in the actual last units here. Yeah, but with that, with that dying, I think... I think that is it. Still a random SCV as well. Another random SCV. Because there's a concussive shell. And there's healing. What an insane ending of this. Holy crap. Hero almost made it happen. That recall to the third base was so smart as well. Oh my god. If that Archon hadn't been stuck behind the Zealot for so long. I think he actually wins. I guess there's still production possible. and I would have been hard anyway. What a, what a crazy game. This was so sick. Uh, legit the final units. Like the, the last Marine and Marauder freaking doing it. All right. Well, that's going to be it for uh, me, Hero Marine, and Hero. I hope you all did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see all of you next time for a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.